Hi, and welcome to Yellowfin's Tips and Tricks. Today I'll be showing you how to create big number charts, such as the one shown here. To start, you need to go to Report up in the top left hand corner. Click on New. We want to select a view. The view I'll be using today is Ski Team, so click on that. Today we'll be creating a big number chart on the invoiced amount under athletic payment. So to do this, drag the invoiced amount across onto the canvas. Next, we'll be going to charts. Yellowfin has an auto chart selection, which makes it easy for creating big number charts, which I'll show you now. So to do this, under metrics, grab the sum invoice amount and put it into the horizontal axis. As you can see here, it's created the big number chart for us. There's another way to do this too. If you go to the top right hand corner and click on the chart icon and scroll down to special purpose, numeric display, you can also drag across your invoiced amount under metrics. There are also other options that you can use to make your big number chart a bit more fancy. If you click on the drop down area under sum invoiced amount, you can change the summarize value. Yellowfin automatically summarizes the value. If you don't want this, just click, click it to un Summarize the value, like so. For this example, we'll keep it summarized. You also have the aggregation type, so you can use the default aggregation total, which was the sum value, or you can change it to a different one. Also, at the top, we have chart settings, which allows you to change the size and position of your big number chart, the style, so in this example, we'll change the default font to a custom font and increase this to 60. You can also change the summary, so the summarized value, decimal places and rounding if you wish. To save these settings, close it. This will increase the size. You can also make changes to the background of the big number chart too. So if you wish, you can create a background color or use an image as a background. You can also provide a chart border if you wish.